Welcome back to the channel guys, Sal from Trim and Tuck. We are at a job today, which has been postponed for some time now. It's a lovely, it's a lovely property. Uh, it's, it's probably one of my favorites that I've done. I do like it, it's really clean. Um, uh, so I thought I'll give you a tour prior to us fitting any carpets, show you how it is. And um, yeah, this one will be interesting. Okay guys, this is the property, very, very large property, very big property, I must say, um, uh, I do like it. Anyway, let me just give you a little little, um, uh, little tour. Down here is LVT and Heronbow Effect, we've never done this, it's been done prior to us coming. We are going to be doing all the carpet, so I'll start from downstairs. This is all of the underlay we're putting down, it is a underfloor heating system that they have, so we are going to be doing this room. This is last, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, uh, let me just walk through to the kitchen. This is the kitchen, which is not done yet, but you can, you can, you can picture how it will be. I believe the kitchen's gonna be there, the island's gonna be there. This is the garden, beautiful, beautiful doors. I don't even know what they call them, but them doors are amazing. Um, uh, the house has got air conditioning, beautiful. A lot of light coming through. Um, and I think they've got spotlights as well. Yeah. Posh, very nice. Um, so if you walk through, I'll get to that. So if you walk up, we are gonna have runners on every single staircase and every step that is visible, and they are gonna be cotton binded. So that should look nice. Obviously that's last. That's one of the bathrooms. Beautiful. All right, let's walk up. These are gonna be closed cover, so it's only gonna be runners on the stairs. So if you walk up, we have Ox here. Ox, let me know what you're doing, my friend. Yeah, I'm raising the door, so um, you've got, you got to put the blind rippers obviously underneath. So I'm just uh, marking out the spaces where the, um, these door bars are going to go. And then I'm going to put the blind grippers there to do that, so. Alright, so if you can see, the reason why I'm saying blind grippers is because this is a normal, this is a normal, this is a short pin gripper. I don't even know why this is here, but can you see there's pins there? And the reason why he's saying blind gripper is because there's nothing here. So what he's doing is marking it out exactly where the, where the grippers are going to be going and then the bar's going to be going on top. So he's raising up the bars in order for the carpet to get a nice flush finish and to get a bite on the actual door bar itself. So that is what Ox is doing first. Now, so that's a bedroom here. Beautiful bedroom. Another bedroom here. A clean, this is a clean job, I like. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is the one of the bathrooms. I mean, I just, I just like, I like the finish on this whole, whole property. It's just, it's just really nice, really, really nice. Um, uh, definitely my cup of tea. So we come over here now. This is another landing, I believe. I don't know if this is in one piece, but it probably, probably is. I have to check the plan. This is uh, another bedroom. Every, every room has air conditioning in it. So on them hot summer days. Should cool you down. Another bathroom here. Where's the light? I don't know where the light is. Sorry, man, I'm moving this camera. Anyway, that's one of the bathrooms here. Then we come into another room with two steps down here. Customer did was discussing whether we should um, put runners or, or full cover. I did tell him we should put runners because I think it matches the whole house, but it's entirely up to him. This is another one of the bedrooms. And that's the company that you should be getting in contact with if you need your carpets done to a very high standard. Isn't that right, Ox? Mm -hmm. This is the company that they should be calling to get their carpets done to a very high what? Standard. 100%. 100. Okay, so we're gonna keep going up now. We're gonna keep going up. And obviously these are gonna be runners as well. And this is the loft room. Um, yeah, nice. It's the loft room and this is the another bathroom in the loft room. I mean, even just that, even just that nice finish. I like it. 
I do like that. Smart. Lovely. Um, and the room that, I'm, that I've left till last, probably the room that is giving everyone anxiety. <laughs> I will show you why. So I'm just going back down now. And these stairs as well is going to get runners. So, this is a cinema room. Massive room, absolutely massive. The thing is we're discussing where we're gonna put the joints because I know in this room, there's gonna be a few joints. <laughs> there's gonna be joints around the pillars by default. So that's one, two, there's gonna be a joint around the staircase which you're gonna have to get around it somehow, that's three. And I'm thinking, either where these lines are here, either we're gonna have a join coming straight down like that, or a join coming straight down like that. Um, yeah, this room is gonna be a headache. This room is going to be a headache. So, what we've done now, we've primed, we've primed the surface, we've primed the perimeter of this room with Ardex primer, because uh, this is a pretty smooth subfloor, so we have primed it with a grit-based primer. Just so um, the, the, the adhesive on the, on the gripper glue thing uh, has more of a grab. And uh, we're using um, Stick Attack Super Blue Rapid Set Gripper Adhesive. We're gonna leave this for a couple days to, to dry anyway. And we are gonna double bank this whole room uh, with um, Robert's pre-cut um, uh, um, grippers. So yeah, we're just gonna let that completely just go off. As soon as that, um, uh, what the bloody hell is it called? As soon as that primer goes off, goes see-through, like more like, more like that kind of color, more see-through, um, then we're gonna start gluing and we're gonna double bank it and we're gonna probably leave it overnight and then come do the underlay the next day and just leave this room till last. Um, and then we're gonna crack on upstairs, but yeah, that is what we are dealing with this week. And I'm hoping we can get this whole property done in three to four days. There is a lot of us here, and I'm gonna be here as well. So look at the size of this room. I mean, look, he's gonna put his TV there. He's gonna put a massive screen or projector there. Sofa's gonna come here, so yeah, very nice. Very, very nice room. So keep in tune with us, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment down below with anything that you feel you may want to see or, uh, or any ideas for us and, and, and we'll willingly try and put that forth. So yeah, subscribe to the channel guys, stay tuned. Last night I was in Switzerland I'm a traveler on these lands Sitting on a boat going Santander Cross the border to Morocco, Tangier Text yes, from Shelby, yes. Pakistan I'm yeah. a traveler on these lands This morning I was chilling out in London oh, Then I ended up in Istanbul Last night I was in Switzerland yeah. I'm a traveler on these lands Sitting on a boat going Santander Cross the border to Morocco, Tangier Next month shall be Pakistan yeah. I'm a traveler yeah. on these lands Last night I was in Switzerland I'm a traveler on these lands Sitting on a boat going Santander Cross the border to Morocco, Tangier Text yeah. month shall be Pakistan I'm yeah. a traveler on these lands This morning I was chilling out in London oh, Then I ended up in Istanbul Last night I was in Switzerland I'm yeah. a traveler on these lands Sitting on a boat going Santander Cross the border to Morocco, Tangier Next month shall be Pakistan I'm a traveler on these lands Ben, what's that then? You're in the cop, you're in the cop, again. Oh god, no, you got to bring the camera in for you, bro. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said, bring the camera in for a view. All right, so um, yeah, we're basically done here. Um, all we've got to do is just tape up the joints like we've done there and done there. Just got to tape the joints up, but we'll do that tomorrow. Basically rip it up. Um, we've double banked the whole, um, the whole room because it is a large room. And uh, we'll just finish off the touches of taping up the joints tomorrow. So if we go upstairs. If we go upstairs. Oh, let me show you something else actually. So obviously this is all covered up. So if I show you the flooring underneath. Really nice. Really, really nice. So that's just the hard flooring part of things. I basically prepped all of the rooms. These are all the rooms prepped up. It's this room prepped up. Still got to tape these joints. These joints have been taped. And still got a little bit there. Other than that, uh, just start, tomorrow we start opening up rooms. Start getting these rooms done and shutting the doors. And then we work on the landings. Uh, and just hopefully get the basement out of the way tomorrow. And yeah, then we should start on the landings and stairs. Okay guys, welcome back to day two. And um, we're here with Josh. And uh, we're just preparing the job, the joins now, getting everything ready, just trying to set it out. It's just a big lump of carpets that we're bringing. So we've got Josh here with his... Sky hat <laughs> from my sister. He's put his light on and he's just, he's just cutting the roll of this carpet. So if you come here and you can see we find the roll so there's none of these fibers and tufts cut so we're cutting that off but we're finding the roll as if you're parting hair so we'll use um uh, the roll finder how was that little bit josh yeah i, went, I just went fast we use a roll finder which i don't know where it is where's the roll finder anyway it's like a little pen yeah, it's in the next oh here it is so we use this and we find the roll, like so, this is gonna be hard. Find the roll, so we're opening up the pile and we're just using, and we're just, so we'll just be cutting the backing. And that tool that he's using there will run through the roll and it would not cut the fibers. It will only cut the backing. So the fibers are left up untouched so when we do bring the other piece i can be butt it up we should have a good seam so yeah that's us right now the boy is upstairs he's just opening up the rooms and we're gonna start doing this big lump of showroom but yeah cool Then we can bring this back, so we can bring this carpet back, like this, and then flap it back on itself. So it's the front of the front carpet that we're looking at, looking at, so it'll be like this. And then what we'll do is, we'll roll find and roll cut that joint. So when it comes round it, it will be, it will be seamless. And that's what, we will, that's what we're gonna try and do now. What's up, bro? All right, 
That's cut good, yeah. Yeah, instead of being straight, it, it will have like a little gap, like a bowl gap. And um, it just becomes a bit more of a challenge because now you've got to manipulate the carpet and get it, get it straight. So this is the problem we're having currently now with this carpet, trying to... This is the bit you guys don't see. Trying to get the roll straight. So was, can you see it's like, it doesn't want to... It's a headache, it's really annoying actually. That's why we skipped to a different thinner hood, thinner roll finder. So if you come over here, you can find the roll perfectly fine. And right here, right here is where it turns. You can see that clearly as well. It's like it bows off like a boomerang. Oh, so when that meets up with the other when it meets piece, up this edge. When that meets up with the other piece, like there, you're going to have a small little gap that you've got to try and manipulate in. Well, that's part and parcel of the, of the struggle, I suppose. So I'm just going to try and loosen up these rolls as much as I can. And then when I'm happy, it will take 20 minutes. When I'm happy, I'll commit to cutting it. Well, Right now, I'm not there. So, keep you updated. So, after, after a lot of struggle, we've done our best with what we can here. Uh, exactly what we're dealing with. Now, we've marked out exactly where to cut this. Uh, so, when it drops back into place, it should be fine. Just make sure you just check <laughs> where it stops. And, um,. Yeah. So it's just got probably a few inches left and it should be there. Yeah. But there's extra there anyway, so in worst case we can always pull it up. Uh, so I need you to pull this back on. And that's how we're cutting around this. So when it drops it should be a nice seamless seam. And yeah, look at that mess. Look at the way it looks. <laughs> look at the way it looks. That's what we're de that's what we're dealing with right now. But the grippers have been primed and stuck down and they're so solid that I think you can power stretch off this room. But yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Then that's kind of come over here. When that comes over here, then we've got another battle. But yeah, this is it. This is the cinema room. Okay, so we've done, we've done this area. We've done this join. We still need to play about with it. And we've realized something with this particular carpet. Um, I don't really want to name and shame the manufacturer, but those who know, know. Uh, this is the issue that's happening. So if you turn that around, so the backing is just completely coming off. And this is unacceptable because, like, come on. And that's why we're having issues with cutting this joint down. 
And uh, we've, we've done what we can do. The join is there. As you can see, the weight has been trickled down. So it's not... It's, 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 it's possible, I would say, in my eyes, it's possible. But it's the carpet that is giving us this problem. Um, uh, but nevertheless, we're going to try and do it and see what we can do. But as you can see, that's the reason why the, the rolls are coming off. Because it seems like the backing is... I don't know what's okay. wrong with the backing, but something... I just wash my face. That's why I look like this. So, um, yeah, we're here now. Josh is just doing this. Let me see if I can zoom. No, I can't zoom. Josh is just doing that little bit here. We're just getting this join ready here. Yeah, it's this, all of that. And it's just a matter. We are sectioning it off. So we're fitting that part. We're fitting this. We've stretched it on fit all of that part. And then we're just stretching on gradually, just getting all the little areas. Um, and then we're gonna finish off here and then stretch onto this wall right behind me. There, and it should, should be fine. This is all getting plasterboarded off anyway. I don't know, apparently the owner's gonna be putting an office in here. So this is not gonna, this, this part of the joint is not gonna even be on show. This joint needs to be seamed up. And we've got this little thing here, it's just a headache. <laughs> And Josh is just getting this join ready here. Then we're going to bring this line, do this seam all the way down there. And as I said, this whole thing's getting board, boarded off. Um, and that's it. Do you want to wait, Josh? The wait. And that's it, that's the room, it's getting there, it's looking nice. Once it's all hoovered up, vacuumed up, it should look nice. The join. Could always be better, but yeah, see what we can do. Still gonna play about with it anyway, so try and dress it a bit more. Massive room. Money made it well go round. Money made it well go round. Money made it well go round.